Hello, I'm Robbie Clark. Welcome to my workshop. I guess you're going to say, oh no, not another finger engine. Um, this is one I just finished quite recently. Um, made basically, or basic, mostly out of wood uh, with a few metal parts. Um, I'll just stop the camera for a moment and I'll, I'll bring the camera in closer again so we can have a closer look and a bit more of a discussion about its design. Hold on a moment. Hello, back again. Um, I had planned on making this uh, finger engine before I made uh, the metal one, which uh, appeared in a, a video a couple of videos back. Um, I'd seen um, this model uh, on YouTube. Um, just a short video of someone who built one of these and just showed the engine running. Um, they gave a link to uh, a site on the the web um, which showed the wooden engine in a couple of different configurations but um, there were no uh, sort of plans with exact measurements or anything else so um, it was really basically um, just try and build one and see what happened um, it was actually um, strangely enough quite a difficult build um, I made it out of literally uh, just odd scraps of wood that I had in my workshop um, I don't do a lot of um, woodworking now although in my early days as a boy and uh, in my teens um, I actually did quite a lot of woodwork my father um, was very keen on, on woodwork and he had a, a, a cabinet building background in, in his youth um, so I, I did learn a great deal from him he had a, a basement workshop at, uh, at home and uh, I used to spend endless hours there with him you know watching him uh, making bits of furniture and, and so forth and in fact for one period we we did work together uh, making toys out of wood. Well, anyway, the um, construction primarily is uh, the plywood, is a plywood flywheel, um, which um, I, I just sort of drew the shape out with a compass um, and then uh, trimmed the, the wood down near to size and then mounted the, the flywheel on my lathe uh, to cut the, the perfectly circular shape. Um, I was going to leave the flywheel plain but I thought it would be rather nice to have these uh, holes cut in it uh, to make it look like spokes and I put it on my um, rot rotary head and plotted out the six holes here very accurately and then on my drill bench I used the force in a bit to, to cut the holes in it um, and just gave it a, a, a green paint job just to, to make it look nice. Um, the, the two other parts here, the two frames, uh, were made out of the same, the same piece of wood actually. Um, the arms, I wanted to make it, you know, obviously quite, quite thin wood and I, I had a, an old scrap of oak which... Uh, I cut down to, to size uh, to make the arms. Um, this was the difficult part actually, um, getting the arms the correct length to balance the whole thing out. Um, to start with um, it just wouldn't work. Uh, I tried all sorts of, of different ways, configurations. I, I, th I'm, I thought I'd put the um, pivoting point here in the wrong place and you see there is a hole here where it originally was and I move that a bit closer uh, to the shaft point here but it still didn't work and then I realised I probably made this arm too long it was very much longer um, so um, I cut this down um, sort of redrilled the holes here um, all the bearings are made out of brass um, and the shafts on it are silver steel or drill rod um, 
but I had a great difficulty in, in actually getting this to work I and mean, I did manage to get it running after a point but then it just kept jamming all the time um, so it, it was a lot of um, playing around and readjusting I moved this um, part back slightly um, that seemed to help a bit but uh, again I mean, in every stage it, it, it may run one turn and then jam uh, so I end up moving this back into its original position um, I think one of the problems that was happening was that the um, the flywheel was actually mounted a bit too close um, to the stand here and that, that whether that was causing it to jam it obviously needed a little bit more movement in here and it was sort of a case of just playing around with it for hours um, I spent days basically working on this in fact, I, I, it, it took as long to build this one as it did to build the whole of the metal one when I, you know the, the flywheels were I already had these I'd made those a long time back but it was really a matter of um, of perseverance um, you know just never give up on trying to get the thing to run but uh, eventually it did and uh, the thing sort of now runs you mean it, it needs a bit of a start you know there seems to be a sweet spot uh, here for the flywheel and these arms actually to get it running and I've um, got my wife to run it and my son one of my sons to run it and just to confirm that you know could be operated by anyone in fact but it is all quite nicely balanced now uh, it's just sort of a nice thing that you know you could build out of any old uh, scrap bits of wood it's not exactly a, a Sunday afternoon project um, you need to put uh, a few hours in over about 10 days to build something like this but um, the, the end result is is quite pleasing really um, the, the, the two side by side I mean there are lots of different um, designs of finger engines if you look on uh, YouTube there's, there's loads and loads of different designs there's some really wonderful designs of, of the metal ones uh, people have obviously gone to a great deal of trouble uh, to design um, these finger engines um, but anyway, I thought you, you might like to see that uh, being made in wood is uh, something a bit different for me these days uh, you know, perhaps I should get back into looking at uh, building things in wood um, a bit more often possibly, I don't know uh, but anyway thank you for joining me uh, in the workshop again and uh, again thank you for um, subscribing to my videos and I hope uh, perhaps I could gain a few more subscribers uh, to the videos as well and thank you also for the lovely comments um, I'm receiving um, it's quite gratifying that the um, the finger engine one has, a, has, has had a huge number of views I was actually just delighted really I didn't think it would be um, of that great interest to anyone really but uh, it's obviously captivated a bit of interest but anyway thank you very much for joining me again and uh, I'll see you very soon bye for now